everybody, welcome to the Trade Corner. Those joining us for the very first time, welcome to your welcome. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sway Corner. Oh my gosh, I haven't said that in such a long time. I can't even remember the last time. I literally posted something on this channel. But hi. Hi y'all, how's it going Swag Fab? I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're smiling and all of that good stuff. Um, whew, girl, we're just starting. No crying, no crying. You have makeup on, no crying. I haven't been here in, s feels like forever. Forever is in like, probably like half a year. I feel like it's probably been a good, what, the last time I posted probably like March, April. May, June, July, August, September. We're in October. My lash is doing its own thing. Um, since I posted, since I just uploaded something, filmed something, maybe a bit longer than six months, actually posted something, maybe a good five months ish. But hi, how are you guys doing? So guys, it has been a very traumatizing year. It has been a very traumatizing year for me and my family and my siblings. So the last time I came on here, literally I think it was dealing with grief in the beginning of the year. And I talked to you guys about me losing my, my dad. I did. I did that like a video about dealing with grief and take your time and all of that. Right. after not right after but like six months later guys i lost mom or we lose our mom as well <sighs> yes we did and i was already struggling i think from april may with my own grief i was dealing with a lot with depression at the time also and it was just a lot at the time like before my mom now passed and i was taking time out so i can come back and then film content right and just deal with the whole idea of losing my dad basically but things happen and in a blink of an eye my mom is gone as well um i filmed all of that and we'll, i'll definitely put it up um just as a memory and videos to have because what i've learned is that i should have taken more videos i used to feel so like oh, i don't want to expose or put so many videos up of my parents and stuff like that i want to be some part of my life a little bit private but then now that they're gone i wish i'd taken more photos i wish i'd taken more videos so that i can go back and look at them Because it doesn't matter how old we get, you never think you're going to lose your parents. Or even if you do, not like so quick, right after each other. <sighs> so yeah, so I lost my homegirl and it has been tough trying to navigate my life. <laughs> trying to wake up every day, trying to be motivated, trying to leave, trying to get a sense of normalcy or whatever normalcy looks like, um, trying to honor her memory and not forget my dad and if I miss one, I feel the guilt of not thinking about the other at the time. Um, trying to be an adult in the midst of it all so I have not been here for a while and I wasn't even sure <laughs> whether I was ever gonna like do this again because my parents loved my videos they always watched my videos it was fun that they enjoyed watching my things and calling me and asking me what are you talking about and why must you always look like a doll with my makeup videos of course but they liked that I enjoyed what I created 
it's been hard y'all it really has been on a different level it's like the rug has been pulled out from under my feet because the one person that we at least had to hang on to also went also in a blink of an eye also and mind you it's like in the way that things have happened lost them the same saying we'll see you tomorrow and then it's just it's a it's been a lot <laughs> it's been a lot it has honestly been a lot i don't know how to explain the hurt that i'm feeling i don't know how to i can't pinpoint it for you it literally is like my whole body still hurts physically from the loss of my mother and my dad and it was hard enough trying to move on or live with the loss of my dad because it also instantly went like that happened like that and to also then try to process the loss of my mom the same way and yeah that has been hard you know when you think you've gone through a lot of hard things and then something like this happens to you and you're like in comparison this is hard it's just a different type of pain that i cannot explain to anybody and the sad thing about a hurt like this is that like i don't even know how to hurt properly i don't even know if there's even such a thing as hurting properly and it has been hard because you can see how friends try to help but they also don't know and you i feel so bad because when they're trying to help it's like i also don't know or when they ask how can we help you i also don't know how you can help me because i also don't know how to hurt properly or explain so that we can say now you're helping i don't know how to explain it it is a very weird place and dark place to be in it took me forever to, to literally sit down and want to film this video because every time i start i stop because i don't know how to make this um and speak to you in such a way that it makes sense because i don't feel like it makes sense for me and it's very hard to try and re-explain what has been happening the past months because i feel like i've been having an out-of-body experience in some instances like this is happening to me but it's like i'm looking at myself looking at myself and you know looking at myself seeing these things happen to me just to sit here and talk and to put on that face every day because life is going on and you're still stuck in what has happened in that moment trying to make sense of that moment where the toughest phone call of your life came and you have to process it it's been hard it's been hard emotionally and sad thing is is that time goes on i think that's the saddest thing is that time goes on and while you're in this grief you don't realize how fast time is moving and people move on and you're here stuck in that darkness in that pain that you want to move but it's like you know when you have a dream and you feel like you're falling and the falling does not end <laughs> sometimes it feels like that but that's literally metaphorically how it feels the the, the lostness if that is the right english word the lostness of it all it's like a big part of my identity because we are such family people we're so close as a family and it's not even about 
I, why, what I, I wish I could have told her how much I loved her. I wish I had spent more time with her. It's not even that type of like, oh my gosh, I wish I had. No, no, no. It's not even that. We are very, like, we were and are still a very, very close, neat family. Like, we were so in touch with each other in terms of our parents that it's not a matter of, I wish I could have said, I love you more. It's not even that. Because you knew how much I loved her. I mean, my mom now, even my dad. So it's not even that. It's not that I wish I could have. No. It is just the loss of that person. It doesn't matter how Christian I am and I believe I'll see them again. It's not. It's like even then, the fact that I must live the rest of my life here on earth without them, that part. Because the I see you is not I see you tomorrow like we would do. I'm in a different town and then I go visit them or they come, my mom especially would travel and then come visit. It's not, it's not that. It's a different I will see you later. This one. And they were good friends. They were not just parents, they were literally all good friends. You know, adult years, our parents were all good friends. And it's been hard. It has been hard because everywhere we turned in the house was a memory of where my mom was, where she lay, where my dad would sit. It's the look on my brother's faces. It's the look that people give you. Oh, you actually look like your mom or your dad. Or that reminds me so much of your mom or your dad. Or it's the constant relieving. That they are gone it's like an anchor of mine now totally is, is, is gone it's like our anchor is gone like our haven of protection is lifted it's like i was under the shade of an umbrella and someone blew the entire umbrella away guys yeah grief and pain it is what it is that's where i've been i've been dealing with the loss of my mom now and both my parents trying as a family to put ourselves back together, uh, put our hearts back together. For the ones who were there in my silence, even when I didn't say I was hurting, I appreciate you guys a lot. And every day I do, because you don't know how much you saved my life. For just doing that. Anywho, that's basically the talk I wanted to give you. It was just to say, um, physically I'm okay. Mentally I'm getting there. Hopefully, soon. I will get back to creating content. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Telling you where I've been. What has been happening. Why I've been, I've not been here. I couldn't film. My favorite, literal creative outlet I couldn't film yeah that's basically it so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for people who have been texting and asking me where I am and when is the video coming out I'm here 